the birth of the Christ we, we celebrate on December 24th, midnight. It's actually Christmas Eve. If you do a chart, any time, do a chart for December 25th of any year, guess what happens? If you draw the chart for that midnight, December 24th, every time you do it, as the sun enters Capricorn, you'll see something amazing. Virgo is always on the ascendant. What is Virgo? Vir the Virgin. The birth of the sun occurs with Virgo rising. The Virgin, Mary, the mother of God. Hmm. Did you know every year on December 21st, the sun descends into Capricorn and it stays three days and three nights. Did you know that? It sounds familiar for you Christians. And then he rises again on December 24th. Strange story, isn't it? He descended into hell, Capricorn sign, stayed three days and three nights before he rises again. Every year the sun does that. Did you know six months before that, we celebrate John the Baptist Day? June 24th. What significance is that? John the Baptist, we're told, was born six months before Christ. Strange coincidence, huh? And what did John the Baptist say? I must decrease, he must increase, because he's now at the apex of the solar cycle. And the sun now is going to go south again. He's going to decrease in its power. Capricorn, it's reached the lowest parts of the hell, and now it must rise again. What's all that about? He must decrease. I must decrease. He must de increase, because he's got nowhere to go but up now. This is all astrological. The whole story is. That's a really important point about Saturn. You notice that um, we demonize Saturn a lot in the chart, and uh, <laughs> such bad things are going to happen. We got Saturn doing this or that in our chart. But Saturn is karmic. Saturn represents the karma in your chart. It's the law, and the law is karma. And what did Christ come to free us from? The curse of the what? The law. And what frees us? Love. So simple, isn't it? Too simple for most people. So Saturn is here to exact the law. And the law is what you sow, you must reap. Sounds pretty unkind, doesn't it? If you sowed it, you must reap it. This whole energy and this whole expression in your chart has another side to it, and that is the Santa Claus side. He's the giver of good gifts to those that deserve them. If you live by the law and you've done good things, guess what happens? Saturn rewards you. Even though in astrology we always see it generally as negative. He's the rewarder of them that are good. Then there's the Zeus consciousness, that's Jupiter, which is what? Jupiter is this whole different spirit. Jupiter is optimism, Saturn is pessimism. Jupiter is faith, Jupiter is forward-looking, Saturn lives in the past. People that have strong afflictions of Saturn in their chart are quick to find fault with themselves and others. Because the same spirit of accusation, which is directed towards others, starts with ourselves. Because if we're accusing others, that means we're self-accusatory. The more faults we have, the more we throw them out. It's called scapegoating. Find someone else to blame. That's how Saturn works. It all started in Adam and Eve's time. They were in a place called paradise. You know what paradise means? It comes from two roots. Para means beyond and dice means to divide. They were beyond division. Until Diablos comes in. What's Diablos come from? Two roots. Di, divide, abolos, abolish. Spirit of division, separation enters into a place called paradise that's beyond division. What happens? 
She's tempted to eat of the fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Where'd this apple thing come from? You ever think about that? Adam's apple. Misuse of this word. That was the cause of the fall of man. Because what happens? Adam's confronted by God. First thing they notice is they behold their nakedness and they're shamed. First step of self-guilt is what? Shame. So they hide. It's like a kid that's got caught with doing something wrong and his mother looks at him and she, he, he won't look at her because he knows he can't. He can't withstand her look. That look of love that knows you've been naughty. So they hide themselves. They hide their bodies. First stage of the fall. Because they're guilty. But they can't accept that guilt. They have to find someone else to blame. That's called scapegoating. So what do they do? Eve said, it's not my fault. No, Adam says first to God. He said, it's not my fault. It's the woman you gave me. It's, her, it's your fault and hers. If you hadn't given her to me, I wouldn't be in this trouble. And what does she do? It wasn't my fault. The serpent made me do it. When I was in prison, I met a lot of guys that did terrible, dastardly things. You ask them why they did it, the devil made me do it. Or alcohol made me do it. Or I was on drugs. I didn't know what I did. I didn't, I'm, I didn't mean to do all that. You see what I'm getting at? Satan made me do it. The devil made me do it. So they were kicked out of paradise. And guess what paradise happens when they, they, had to, they got some curses from that. The woman shall what? Shall bear children in pain and anguish. That was one of the curses. The other is that you must, the man must earn the bread by the sweat of his brow. In other words, hard work. That was the curse on man. All this energy and all these stories are astrological. And once you understand them, and you have somebody, for example, that is in a chart as a woman. For example, everybody in this, in this room is a woman. So I can talk to you as, as, a, as a client. I would talk to you as a woman. If you're dealing with a man's chart, and you have a man's chart, and he's got serious afflictions with Mars, Saturn, and Pluto, Watch out. Why? Because Saturn doesn't... Go ahead. Oh, I thought you were going to answer that. <laughs> okay. Good. Good for you. Yeah. Potentially. Why? Because anger is Mars. Saturn, by the way, is different. Saturn is... Satan... Saturn is called the subtlest of all the beasts. Have you ever seen why those symbols mean those things? Well, oh, drop that. Listen to this. Look at the th look at the three things that make up every symbol. Did it break? Yeah. 